Hey everyone, it's Jenny W. and I'm still congested. Um, it's been about a week, so I'm sorry that my voice sounds all weird and everything. Um, I have now gotten to the point where I am on my second um, cremation heart. This is the first one I made, which with my glove you can't really see it that well, but there it is. There's some flowers, um, a heart, there's a rose petal, and then the, the heart is the heart of ash. And then there's a butterfly. It's very pretty. Um, but I'm making my second heart, this one here. Um, it's different. Of course, I try to make every piece unique. Um, I just have to do the second layer on this one. It's not focusing. I have to do the second layer on this, and then this second heart will be done. And then all I have left is one more heart. Um, I have made two of the crosses. There's this one and this one. I'll hold them each in the light where you can kind of see them as well. There's that one. Um, now all of these will be on sterling silver findings. Like they'll have a uh, a bale or like well it'll be white wire wrapped around it and then um, put on a chain. It's not really focusing on the heart. There we go. There's the heart of ash in the center and then some leaves, green leaves, um, red, red rose petals, some purple flowers, and then a dove at the bottom. That one's done. This one here, I kind of have to clean up the edges a little bit, um, but I try to save that for last. But you can see the edges are a little bit kind of pointy. But the heart of ash is in the center, rose petal, a heart, um, well, not a heart, but a purple flower. Then we have some yellow over here on this side, and then a green leaf, and then a little bird. I ran out of dove, so I had to use birds. But there's that one. And this one here will be cleaned up a little bit more around the edges, and then put on a, again, wrapped with sterling silver wire, and then put on a chain. So there's these. These are ready to be put on a sterling chain and everything, which I'll do all that last before I ship them off. Um, this is the heart that I was working on that I was telling you about. And then this is my third cross, which I have to dome this. I have to put the second layer on there. And then I have to put um, this other little bird on there as well. And then this one will be ready which that doesn't really take that long. And I don't use UV resin to dome it just because if I have to drill a hole or anything, sometimes the UV resin kind of pops off and creates air underneath of it when I drill. So I use regular resin. It takes, you know, it cures overnight. So tomorrow I'll have this one finished and be working on the second layer of another cross because I have to make another cross. This will be my last cross, and then I'll have all the crosses made for this order. But, yeah, there's that one. This one doesn't have any red in it, but it has like purple and yellow and green. <clears throat> but you can always see the heart of ash there in the center of it. And then you can see here I have two more hearts of ash. <clears throat> I have this one here that is a cross, and then this one here that goes into the last heart that I have to make tomorrow. But, well, I might be able to make it. Oh, yeah, I can make it tomorrow because I have to put the second layer on this, and then I can make that. But that's all that's left on that. All right, I am going to start making this cross and the second layer on this one. And then it'll be ready to go. Is he standing out there watching me? Sorry, my brother-in-law is like out the window 
pretty sure he's just standing there watching me make resin and it's kind of a little weird. But I just poured this resin into the cross. Now I'm ready to put some flowers on there. Now I have to do this one, which you can't really see that well. But I have to take just a little bit because you don't want to overload it. Because it will overflow. And with luck, I haven't had that happen yet on these. So I don't want that to happen. Now I'm just going to spread that around a little bit with my tweezers. Make sure it covers. Might have to add a little bit more. You want it to fill in everything. so that there's no edges to clean up. I'm going to take a little bit more and put it on these tweezers here. Kind of get this to fill in a little bit more because I'm not getting the look that I wanted around those edges. I need it to kind of come up over the edges. It's not too bad. Okay. All right, that doesn't look too bad. I don't want to push it because then it will overflow. And I don't want to take that chance. But just so you can see it better. When I filled up, and now I'm gonna put the bird just right here. It's a little off though, so I might have to move it a little. It's not wanting to lay down flat, probably because of that cross being kind of out of place. This is what I mean by it can be so messy and take so much time. Okay, I'm going to have to put this bird up a little higher. It's still not where I want it to be. Okay, what is going on with this? It's because that one flower is sticking up. Let me try to move it up some. Okay, that's just, that's where I need it to be. So now the bird is level. That's as about as level as that bird is gonna get. Um, it's because I had a flower there in that spot, and. Flower was raised up. 
So the bird was touching it. And the bird wasn't laying flat like I needed it to. Now I have to kind of lightly brush some resin over this bird so that it matches because if not the bird will be matte looking and not shiny. Okay, I might do the same thing with this cross. Just kind of rub some resin over it. To make the bird shiny. Alright, this way you can see what I did with that one. See, I just made the bird a little shiny. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one, but i got to be very gentle because it's not stable yet. And I don't want to put too much on there. Okay, there we go. Hopefully that won't drip no resin down off the, off the bird's tail. But now that is done. It's just got to set there and cure. This one as well, since I painted the bird a little bit with the resin, we'll have to cure some too. <clears throat> so now I just wait. Now I have to make another cross piece. Um, I think I am going to use some more rose, pezzel, uh, rose petals because, sorry about that, I have to get over here to my drawer. Because I really like the way that they look. drawer got resin on it and got stuck. Ooh. I guess it got some resin on it, but there's my rose petals. Um, I really like the color of them. I like to use them in everything. <clears throat> I might have to break this video up into three parts for these cremation pieces because it's going to be very long if I don't. Alright, so for this one, I'm just... I broke off some rose petal, just broke some off, because I want it to lay fat, <laughs> flat, sorry, again, I don't feel very good. I want it to lay flat, because if it doesn't lay flat, then you have the problem of when I put the charm on, it's going to stick up, and then it kind of just, oops, sorry, it kind of uh, doesn't lay right. This is just something I enjoy doing. I enjoy making resin pieces. Um, I mean, I just enjoy doing it. I, I like making cremation pieces as well. Um, just feel like I'm doing something nice for a family. And I mean, yeah, I'm getting paid for it, but still though, They'll have something that'll last for a long time and made by me. Oh, sorry again, I'm getting out of frame. But I don't think that I can get this to go any closer. Because that is about as far as I can zoom in. Fix it. 
This is about as good as I can get it. <laughs> okay. I have the heart in. I'm just going to kind of wiggle this around some because until I like it, I might end up breaking off a piece of this rose pet. Oh, I like that. I like how that lays. That's nice. I use baby wipes um, for sensitive skin to wipe off my my tools that I use. Okay, now I need some more flowers. I was sent um, these to use as well. Um, I have used some of the purple and I have used some of this other light blue color too. I'm going to use some of the purple again because I really, really like the purple. It's pretty, it shows up really well. It's colorful. I like colorful stuff. Um, we might put this kind of in the bottom there. One going one way, one going the other way. So I don't want them to stick up. <clears throat> this is just some tweezers um, that I got in a set from Joann's. They're for like beading and stuff like that. Um, I just use them for my resin stuff. And I might put some more of this purple kind of up here too. Again, because I like it colorful. <clears throat> Gonna have to order me some more flowers here soon. I'm running low. Well, I have a lot of these purple. I'm using the purple that they sent me because it's their cremation pieces, you know, that they ordered. But I also have a lot of other purple too. And then in the back, there's just some like yellow petals that I saved from like a flower bouquet. So I have those, and I think I have, I have some other like greenery too, and a flower, and some petals. I might use, well these leaves are too big for me to use. I might try to get some sunflower petals in there. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Like I said, sinuses. Congestion, horrible. I have some pieces of sunflower that I'm breaking up. You'll see those in a minute because I'm breaking them up right now. So hopefully I can use them in this without them taking up a whole lot of space. And These sunflower petals I got from the Lavender Farm in Hawesville, Kentucky. Oh, my lighting got good all of a sudden. I don't know how that happened. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna put one over here. And then maybe one down there. They let me I made them a keychain with some lavender and they donated some sunflowers to me because I made a um, cremation pendant with their sunflowers, sunflower petals. So they donated a sunflower to me. It was very gracious. All right. I like this one the way it is so far. I might add a little bit of green. Maybe in this area or over there some. Because I do like some green. I don't know if I have some green or if I'm gonna have to get some out. I might have a leaf in here in their bag that they sent me. 
<coughs> Do a little bit of green. Put that in there. All right. <coughs> Hope everyone's enjoying this video. I know it's taken a long time, but I do things in real time and um, it's taken me a little bit. I just started a new job, so I haven't been having a whole lot of time, but I have to get these done and sent off before Christmas. So I don't have that much time. All right, so that is that cross. That's basically all I'm doing with that. Um, again, you might not be able to see it that good right now because it's still in the mold, but when it comes out, it'll look, you know, kind of similar to this. <clears throat> But that's that one setting. Uh, just run over that just a little bit. Just to pop some bubbles, I'm using this little torch. Art Resin has their own torch too. I think it's similar to this one, but I don't have it. <clears throat> I buy my resin and everything myself. I don't um, have any sponsors or anything like that or get sent anything for free. I am doing this all myself. And it takes a lot of money. <laughs> all right, what I just did, you didn't see me do it on camera, but I poured the second layer onto this heart. Covered up the, the flowers and stuff that's in it. So I'm just gonna kinda pop a little bit of those bubbles, run that over, and like leave it right here. It's good, it's covering up the flowers really well. Um, that's the end of this video. I do have lots of resin left over. I will probably make some more crystals and stuff like I have been doing. By the way, this here is what I've been making with the leftover resin. Um, I will get these sanded and um, everything and get them ready you know for like a festival or I might put some in my Etsy shop I'm not sure yet I haven't really used my Etsy, Etsy shop that much um, but I might put some in there I'm, I'm not really sure yet what I'm gonna do with all these <clears throat> but I'll probably make some more crystals and uh, another resin update video will be coming you know soon I have to get all these other ones posted first that I've done so, have a great day. Happy crafting.